So here we have the Hyundai Tucson on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, uh, should you wish to increase that space further. And then this tray section will lift up to reveal a full-size alloy spare wheel. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 26,173. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel, so you can see there's a digital readout for the speedometer at the moment. You can change that for various different bits of trip computer information. Plus there are other menus available from satellite navigation to various vehicle systems, audio settings, your service menu, and user settings. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just a moment ago are here. We've also got cruise control and speed limiter over that side as well. And on the left hand side, stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you paired the phone up, and that is done over on the touch screen in the center just here. Hit the phone button first of all, and then follow the instructions on screen from there. When it comes to the radio, this car has got DAB, FM, and AM, as you can see. Hit the media button to listen to your own music. Nothing is connected at the moment, but you can insert an auxiliary device, a USB device, and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So uh, plenty of ways to listen to your music. And if I pop the car into reverse, you'll see we have a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image you see on the screen. On top of all of that, this car has got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works on both our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Below that, we have the dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up and down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be redirected. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns the air conditioning on and off again. Or you can hit auto and the car will do all of the work to maintain those temperatures for you. And you can override that and put it back in a manual setting whenever you wish to. We've also got heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each. And under that, two 12 volt charging sockets as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs. A six speed manual gearbox. And then these buttons just here. This one turns off the parking sensors. This turns off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which will save you fuel. That system is now off. This one will turn on the downhill brake control. And this puts the steering in either sport or normal. And you can tell whether you've done that up on here. It says steering mode in the middle, normal or sport. And the symbol to the right hand side that's now gone off. When it's on, it shows that downhill brake control is turned on and that's now turned off. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.